Chapter 4 In the Bazaars of Hyderabad Sarojini Naidu What do you sell, O ye merchants? Richly your wares are displayed, turbans of crimson and silver, tunics of purple brocade, mirrors with panels of amber, daggers with handles of jade. Ye, old English word for you, plural, crimson, having a dark deep red color, tunic, a piece of clothing which fits loosely over a person's body, reaches to the waist or knees, and often has no sleeves, amber, a hard, clear, yellowish-brown substance that is used to make beads, jewelry, etc., dagger, short pointed knife or weapon, jade, Hard green valuable stone used for making ornaments. What do you weigh, O oh ye vendors, saffron and lentil and rice? What do you grind, O oh ye maidens, sandalwood, henna and spice? What do you call, O oh ye peddlers, chessmen and ivory dyes? Chessmen, pieces used in the game of chess. What do you make? O ye goldsmiths, wristlet and anklet and ring, bells for the feet of blue pigeons, frail as a dragonfly's wing, girdles of gold for the dancers, scabbers of gold for the king. Frail, delicate or easily damaged. Girdle, a belt or cord worn around the waist. Scabbard, a holder for the blade of a sword. What do you cry, O oh ye fruitmen? Citron, pomegranate, and plum. What do you play, O oh musicians? Sitar, sarangi, and drum. What do you chant, O oh musicians? Spells for the aeons to come. Citron, a citrus fruit. Sitar, poetic spelling for sitar. Aeons, very long periods of time. Hundreds of thousands of years, ages. What do you weave, O oh ye flower girls, with tassels of azure and red, crowns for the brow of a bridegroom, chaplets to garland his bed, sheets of white blossoms new garnered to perfume the sleep of the dead? Azure, bright blue, chaplets, circles or wreaths of leaves, flowers, etc. New garnered. Recently collected, fresh. Exercise 1. Read the following extract and answer the questions given below it. What do you sell, O ye merchants? Dash Daggers with handles of jade. 1. Answer the following Simple factual questions. 1. Whom is the poet addressing? Answer. The poet is addressing the merchants. 2. Who are the speakers of the last four lines of the extract? Answer. The merchants. 2. Answer the following. Complex factual questions. 1. Write about the colors you may see in the bazaars of Hyderabad with reference to the given extract. Answer. In the bazaars of Hyderabad, we may see the following colors. Deep red, silver, purple, amber and green. 2. Make a list of the wares sold in the bazaars of Hyderabad with reference to the given extract. Answer. Turbans, tunics, mirrors, daggers. 3. Answer the following. Interpretative type questions. 1. Which of the things mentioned in the extract may still be seen in today's market? Which of the items are not seen anymore? Answer. Turbans and mirrors may be seen even today. Tunics and daggers may not be seen. 2. Mention any three things in the extract that indicate that the city of Hyderabad must have been very prosperous. Answer. The merchants in the bazaars have richly displayed their wares. They sell expensive turbans of crimson and silver, mirrors with panels of amber, and daggers with handles of jade. Amber is a costly thing that is used in making beads and jewellery. 
Jade, on the other hand, is a very valuable stone. These facts indicate that Hyderabad must have been a very prosperous city. 4. Answer the following. Vocabulary question. Write from the extract words that refer to items of clothing. Answer. Turbans, tunics. 5. Answer the following. Poetic device questions. 1. If two words end with the same sound, including a vowel, they are said to rhyme. Note that the words may not share the same spelling. List the rhyming pairs from this extract. Answer. Displayed. Brocade. Jade. 2. The pattern or scheme we see in the rhyming words in a poem or stanza is called its rhyme scheme. Usually, the letters A, B, C are used to indicate the rhyme scheme. What is the rhyme scheme of this stanza? Answer. A, B, C, B, D, B. The rhymes are in the second, fourth and sixth lines of the stanza. So, the same letter B is used to indicate them. Read the following extract and answer the questions given below it. What do you weigh, O ye vendors, dash, chessmen and ivory dice? 1. Answer the following. Simple factual questions. 1. Whom is the poet addressing? Answer. The poet is addressing the vendors, the maidens and the peddlers in the bazaars of Hyderabad. 2. Which of the people mentioned in this extract have weighing scales? Answer. The vendors. 2. Answer the following. Complex factual questions. 1. List all the people mentioned in the extract. Each of them has a number of things to offer, some of which are mentioned in the extract. Think of other one or two appropriate items that one may add to the list given here. Answer. The people mentioned in the extract are vendors who sell saffron, lentil and rice, maidens who grind sandalwood, henna and spice, peddlers who sell chessmen and ivory dice, the vendors may also sell almonds and sugar, the maidens may also grind fresh turmeric and gram flour, the peddlers may also sell kites and tops. 2. Make a list of the wares sold in the bazaars of Hyderabad with reference to the extract. Answer. Saffron, lentil, rice, sandalwood, henna, spice, chessmen and ivory dice. 3. Answer the following. Interpretative type question. What indicates that the market is very busy? Answer. The fact that there are so many merchants and vendors selling different things in the market indicates that the market is very busy. 4. Answer the following vocabulary question. Write from the extract words that refer to things obtained from nature. Answer. The things obtained from nature are saffron, lentil, rice, sandalwood, henna and spice. 5. Answer the following poetic device questions. 1. If two words end with the same sound, including a vowel, they are said to rhyme. Note that the words may not share the same spelling. List the rhyming pairs from this extract. Answer. Rice, spice, dice. 2. The pattern or scheme we see in the rhyming words in a poem or stanza is called its rhyme scheme. Usually, the letters A, B, C are used to indicate the rhyme scheme. What is the rhyme scheme of this stanza? Answer. A, B, C, B, D, B. The rhymes are in the second, fourth and sixth lines of the stanza. So the same letter B is used to indicate them. 3. The poem is set in the form of questions and answers. What is the purpose of this? Answer. The question and answer technique used in the poem makes us feel that we are actually present in the bazaars of Hyderabad. Read the following extract and answer the questions given below it. What do you make, O ye goldsmiths? Dash, scabbards of gold for the king. 1. Answer the following. Simple factual questions. 1. Whom is the poet addressing? Answer. 
the poet is addressing the goldsmiths. 2. Who are the speakers of the last five lines of the extract? Answer, the goldsmiths. 3. What does the poet compare the feet of the pigeons to? Answer, to the dragonfly's wing. 2. Answer the following. Complex factual questions. 1. Write about the colours you may see in the bazaars of Hyderabad with reference to the given extract. Answer. In the bazaars of Hyderabad, you will see the blue pigeons, the golden girdles of the dancers and the golden scabbards for the king. 2. Make a list of the wares sold in the bazaars of Hyderabad with reference to the given extract. Answer. Wristlets, anklets, rings, bells for the feet of pigeons, girdles for dancers and scabbards. 3. Answer the following. Interpretative type questions. 1. Which of the things mentioned in the extract may still be seen in today's market? Which of the items are not seen anymore? Answer. Wristlets, anklets and rings may be seen today. Bells for the feet of pigeons, girdles of gold for dancers and scabbards may not be seen. 2. Mention any three things in the extract that indicate that the city of Hyderabad must have been very prosperous. Answer. The kind of wares, including those made of gold, sold in the bazaars of Hyderabad, indicate that the city of Hyderabad must have been very prosperous. There are bells for the feet of blue pigeons, girdles of gold for the dancers and scabbards of gold for the king. 3. Which lines in the extract tell us that the goldsmiths in Hyderabad are highly skilled? Answer. The lines that the goldsmiths are able to make bells for the feet of blue pigeons, frail as a dragonfly's wing, tell us that the goldsmiths in Hyderabad are highly skilled. 4. Answer the following. Vocabulary question. Write from the extract words that refer to items worn on the body. Answer. Wristlet, anklet, ring, girdle. 5. Answer the following. Poetic device questions. 1. If two words end with the same sound including a vowel, they are said to rhyme. Note that the words may not share the same spelling. List the rhyming pairs from this extract. Answer. Ring, wing, king. 2. The pattern or scheme we see in the rhyming words in a poem or stanza is called its rhyme scheme. Usually, the letters A, B, C are used to indicate the rhyme scheme. What is the rhyme scheme of this stanza? Answer. A, B, C, B, D, B. The rhymes are in the second, fourth and sixth lines of the stanza. So the same letter B is used to indicate them. 3. Name and explain the figure of speech. Bells for the feet of blue pigeons. Frail as a dragonfly's wing. Answer. Simile. The delicateness of the bells are explicitly compared to delicateness of the dragonfly's wings using the word as. Read the following extract and answer the questions given below it. What do you cry, O ye fruitmen? Dash, spells for the eons to come. 1. Answer the following. Simple factual questions. 1. Whom is the poet addressing? Answer. The poet is addressing fruitmen, musicians and magicians. 2. What do the fruitmen cry out? Answer. Citron fruits, pomegranate and plum. 2. Answer the following. Complex factual questions. In which period is the poem set, modern or old? Explain your answer. Answer. The poem is set in old period. In modern days, we do not see musicians playing in the bazaars or magicians casting magic spells at public places. 3. Answer the following. Interpretative type questions. Write about the sounds you may hear in the bazaars of Hyderabad with reference to the given extract. Answer. You may hear the sounds of fruit men crying out their various fruits, musicians playing different musical instruments and magicians casting their spells. You may also hear the sounds of sitar, sarangi and drum. 4. Answer the following. Vocabulary questions. 1. Give examples of citron fruits. Answer. 
lemon and sweet lime. 2. Explain eon. Answer. Eon means an extremely long period of time. 5. Answer the following. Poetic device questions. 1. If two words end with the same sound, including a vowel, they are set to rhyme. Note that the words may not share the same spelling. List the rhyming pairs from this extract. Answer. Plum, drum, cum. 2. The pattern or scheme we see in the rhyming words in a poem or stanza is called the rhyming scheme. Usually the letters A, B, C are used to indicate the rhyme scheme. What is the rhyme scheme of this stanza? Answer. A, B, C, B, D, B. The rhymes are in the second, fourth and sixth lines of the stanza. So the same letter B is used to indicate them. Five, read the following extract and answer the questions given below it. What you weave, O ye flower girls, dash, to perfume the sleep of the dead? One, answer the following. Simple factual questions. One, whom is the poet addressing? Answer, the poet is addressing the flower girls. Two, what colors do the flower girls weave into the tassels they make? Answer, azure and red. 2. Answer the following. Complex factual question. Make a list of the wares sold in the bazaars of Hyderabad with reference to the given extract. Answer. Tassels of red and azure for the crown of the bridegroom's brow. Wreaths of flowers to garland the bridegroom's bed. And also sheets sewn with freshly gathered white flowers to cover the bodies of the dead. 3. Answer the following. Interpretative type question. What obvious contrast do you notice in the wares sold by the flower girls? Answer. The flower girls sell tassels to adorn the crown of the bridegroom and wreaths to decorate his bed. Here the flowers add beauty to the new life to be begun by the groom. In direct contrast, the flower girls also sell sheets sewn with white flowers to cover the bodies of the dead to hide the smell of decay and death. 4. Answer the following. Vocabulary questions. 1. Explain. 1. Tassel. A group of short threads or cords held together at one end for decoration. 2. Chaplet. Circles or wreaths of leaves, flowers, etc. 2. Write the color words in the extract. Answer. Azure, red, white. 5. Answer the following. Poetic device questions. 1. If two words end with the same sound, including a vowel, they are set to rhyme. Note that the words may not share the same spelling. List the rhyming pairs from this extract. Answer. Red, bed, dead. 2. The pattern or scheme we see in the rhyming words in a poem or stanza is called its rhyme scheme. Usually the letters A, B, C are used to indicate the rhyme scheme. What is the rhyme scheme of this stanza? Answer. A, B, C, B, D, B. The rhymes are in the second, fourth and sixth lines of the stanza. So the same letter B is used to indicate them. 3. Name and explain the figure of speech. Crowns for the brow of a bridegroom. Answer. Alliteration. The sound of the letter R asserts itself throughout the course of the line. 